All right, welcome back everybody to another tutorial part. Um, last time we put together this road a little bit and we showed a bit about some events. Um, in the meanwhile, between the last uh, video that I put up and this one, I've been taking a look a little bit more closely about the kinds of things that I might want to change on here. So um, let's just go ahead and get started back on our map view here. And I think one thing that I want to do, and I, we briefly did this before, but I want to take this other uh, tile here for the road, and I just want to fill it in all the spots where it's outside of this, uh, you know, these areas that we sectioned off here. Um, and I think just because I like it a little bit better, how it kind of has a border against the grass and, and things like that, it just... It just seems a little more like something would be, you know, c constructed by people versus, you know, one that has a whole bunch of grass overgrowing it. So, I don't know. I just kind of like the way that it looked. But uh, the one thing we need to go back over and do is fix it here. You could see behind the tree, um, the top part of the tree, it didn't overwrite that. So, you actually have to go back and draw it manually like this. And then, of course, we lose the tops of our trees. So, we have to go grab them again from the B tab over here and put them back on top of it so that it overlays properly. Okay, so now that's looking pretty good. And I think it's just a, you know, it's just an aesthetic uh, sort of thing. But I think having the two different ones there, even though it looks a little strange having it like, you know, divided so strongly, um, I think it'll actually help with just making it look a little bit nicer. Um, just, you know, adding variety to the visuals again, you know, that's a, a thing that I always try to strive to do because it's sometimes pretty challenging um, to actually manage that. And so another thing I was thinking about too was maybe not blocking off so much and I'd maybe would do it like uh, we said here. So even though, you know, for the sake of example, for the tutorial, I showed you how to section these off. I think I just want to block off these inside spots. Um, and then again over here with these uh, tree areas. So a simple way to do that without having to redo, you know, a ton, you know, more events and stuff, since we already have all these here, uh, we can again just use the cut feature like I was talking about before. So you can go up here to the top with the scissors, or you can, you know, right click on it and do cut, or you can do control with the X key on the keyboard to cut. And so cut, as you'll see here, it actually takes it away from, you know, it moves it basically, uh, like we talked about before. And I'm just gonna paste it in here. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. It doesn't really matter which ones you use of these because they all function the same. So, paste it in here. And now, you know, now the player won't be able to walk just on these grass spots. And then with the rest of these, I'm actually going to delete them out of here because I want to be able to let them walk, you know, back in here if they want to. So, uh, so you can either, to do that, you can either right click and go to delete. Or you can see on the, uh, you know, shortcut here, it says... DEL for the short for the delete key on your keyboard. So you can actually just use a combination of arrow keys on your keyboard and then you press the delete key and that quickly deletes everything out of there um, quite a bit faster than if you were trying to do it, uh, you know, right clicking each one, going to delete each time. But either way, so now it looks more like this and with that, uh, you know, the base of these trees are already not passable by the player due to the passability settings. And then now with these uh, little events that we kept here in the middle, it'll basically just stop them from walking where the trees and the flowers are and everywhere else they can go if they want. So, um, so I think that might work out somewhat better. Um, no, and then I'll just do the same thing over here. Since the trees are all we put in this, all we have to do is delete all these excess events. And then again up here, uh, we want to block off the flower areas. So we're going to go ahead and cut and paste it in here where the flower is. And then again, with this one, I'll do it over here with the cut icon. And then you can do the paste icon just like that. And then we'll go ahead and delete these other ones. And now the player can walk even on the, you know, gray areas of tile. So, and they'll just have to stay off the grass <laughs> and out of the way of the trees and things like that. Um, so one other thing, let me jump back over to the mapping 
view over here. Uh, one other thing that I thought about too was using this uh, shift technique, shift clicking to kind of, um, I want to like kind of get rid of some of this little grass border here as you can see. Um, so one way I could do it is just hold shift and click and drag all the way across like that. Um, and that looks pretty okay too, but I'm going to undo that because I thought maybe just like something like this a little bit to where there's like maybe a little bit of grass growing, but um, just to also show that like, hey, this, you know, this part's been walked on and people just leave there and they go right back on the road. Um, I actually wanted to kind of put it here too, but you'll see if we do it there, then you lose that border on the left edge there with the, you know, the nice border against the grass and stuff. And you could do it that way, especially if you do it on both sides, but... You know, it's up to you if you want to use that that way or not. I don't really think it looks quite as good. Even though it does give us the extra, um, you know, little bit of grass that would be erased there, which, you know, it's fine. But, um, so, you know, I could leave it like that or I could do it that way. And I'm actually not really sure how I want to do it. Maybe like that actually looks better now that I look at it. Because if I just have the one there, it almost looks like it's an error. You know, like, oh, you forgot to do this one. You know, So maybe I will leave it like that. And that'll just suggest, like, hey, the dirt path goes right up to this road, and everybody's, you know, been walking there and, and all that. So, no. so okay, I think that looks pretty good. And the only other thing that I would probably do is just, you know, fill in some of this grass, or, you know, this grassy area here, maybe do some stuff like that a little bit like we did before. And just to try to make it look a little more interesting if the player decides to you know, come up off the road a little bit and see what all is up here. Then we've got some gas going on and I'm just going to do it quickly because I'm not too worried about it. Um, obviously in your maps and things, you take the time to make it look a lot nicer than this. Um, but it's just to kind of add some extra, extra visuals into the grass area. So it's not just, you know, the plain grass the whole time. Um, so, and I'll just do a little bit more down here too, maybe something like that. And, you know, just kind of randomly draw it in there to make it look a little, it's a little too right angle-y for my liking, but maybe something like that, that could be okay. Um, you know, again, just something to hint at some visuals, like, hey, there's some grass growing on. And not just the, you know, lighter green grass, but some thicker grass. And you can add, obviously, flowers and, you know, like we've done in the other maps, but here, it's kind of a big space, so I'm not going to worry about filling it up too much. Um, uh, but the next thing I do want to do is go ahead and get our next map going to where this road proceeds, where the player is going to be, you know, able to walk and everything. And I think to kind of set that up a little, I might do, I don't know if I want to do a fence or not. I'm trying to think like over here, maybe put a fence. Um, We'll see. I can always come back and edit. That's the nice thing. If I change my mind, I can always come back and do extra stuff. Um, but let's see. So let's go ahead and get another map going. Now for this next one, I looked into it a little bit as far as the uh, tile sets go because I was, remember if you remember back before to earlier uh, videos, I was trying to find the bench and it was like, where's the bench? But, you know, uh, but it's actually in the, where it is, is in the science fiction outside tile set, not the regular outside one. So we're actually going to use that for the next map. And width wise, I actually want this to be wider than normal. So I don't, maybe 30, I think is probably good again. That's pretty, maybe not quite that wide actually. Let's try, um, let's see, it's 17 by default. So let's try 26, let's see where that gets us. Um, actually now 27 maybe we'll add we'll just add 10 squares to it. it's a little bit less than 30 I don't know that's gonna make too much of a difference actually going that high but um, but the height on this one I want to keep kind of small I don't want it to be very high so I'm actually gonna leave that at the default um, so it'll be a lengthy map you know with uh, you know in, in the horizontal sense but height wise it's not going to be very much and as far as the name of the map. I'll just call this, uh, I mean, we still have it just called Main Road, and I'm probably going to change that at some point too, but I'll just do, um, I guess I'll just go with that for now, and then when we change it later, um, you know, I can 
refine things on the main road. What do I want to call this? Like a pathway or a thoroughfare or something? Because um, what I envision here for this next one is to add some areas like with, you know where people can sit and things. But um, let's just do rest area. Let's just call it that for now. Um, and then we can you know change that again uh, so we've got the science fiction outside tile set and okay everything else there I think is good so we'll hit okay uh, now we can see how wide this one is it's a lot wider than you know the 17 but it's also not super tall um, so one thing I wanted to just double check here how many tiles is this one two three four five six seven eight nine okay the road is nine tiles wide so that only gives us like two little spaces on either side so I'm actually what I'm going to do is bring the road like almost all the way down here I think uh, let's see Eight, nine yeah that would give you four tiles on top to work with maybe I'll do like one I think yeah I think just one maybe even would be good um, so just give a little bit of space there so I'll make sure I've got it right one two three four five six seven eight nine so the road will be there and then who knows what's going to be off in here it's not going to be as significant um, and then we're going to have this area here pan out a little bit. What I actually think I want to do is kind of bring the road in a little bit. So make it, you know, a little bit shorter, a little bit thinner. And then have it go the rest of the way. So something like that, where maybe, you know, it's uh, not as wide. And I'll just draw that straight down. That looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, that gives us five tiles. Okay, I like the look of that. Um, so, the rest of this, I guess, we can just fill in with grass for now. Uh, we can always play around with that later. You know, spruce it up a little. Um, so, what I would like to do here, I'm thinking, is, uh, you know, make some areas for people to sit and things like that. Um, now, you'll notice here, since we're using the science fiction outside uh, tile set for this one, a lot of these starting uh, basic tiles and things are the same as you find in the normal outside one, but then we start getting into some uh, more modern looking, you know, uh, structures and things. There's, you know, walls that are made of metal and, you know, and things that look like houses and stuff. So you can do, you know, things like this where it's like a brick wall and it's, you know, a nice modern looking, uh, you know, roof and everything like that. So, so if your game has a setting that's more modern or, you know, science fiction or whatever uh, you can do you know you can probably make more use of this particular tile set than you would the standard outside one which is a little bit more geared for you know the uh, medieval fantasy sort of stereotype stuff so um, so you've got a whole lot of extra stuff here that you're not going to find in the normal yeah uh, you know the typical outside tiles and things like that and that includes you know signs it's like more modern signs of businesses and um, there's things like this here like lamp posts street posts things like that um, so usually I mean you you probably for most games you probably want to pick some kind of theme like that and stick with it for your you know for your game but now for this one I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing and matching because it's kind of one of those things where it's like well you know who knows where this is it could be somewhat modern it could be you know uh, you know a, a fantasy thing that's not modern at all if you wanted it to be but for me I just have this kind of idea where it's like well there's two different you know cultures and they kind of mix so there's like the, the human people that the populace whatever that uh, you know they've got their technology stuff going and, and they've got uh, maybe some modernization and yet there's also the monsters and, and their their population and it's kind of the opposite where it's like well maybe it's more fantastical stuff that you know doesn't have all the modern things but they do things totally differently so that's kind of what I have in mind anyway in my head and we'll see if we can blend it successfully or to what degree but um, but we can see here we've got like different kinds of trees and things that, you know there's a like this particular tree graphic isn't even in the you know regular outside one so um, and then we've got these here too where they're already kind of in these little planner things that you can use so kind of like what we had going for the last one but a little more 
um, you know, uh, like design for that, a little bit more design with that sort of thing in mind. So you can kind of do stuff like this. And I'm just going to sprinkle them along here and just kind of, you know, add some, some scenery here. Maybe somebody came along and planted them. And maybe you've got like a regular tree just over here where it's just one of these different kinds. Um, so here we can see there's a whole bunch of different signs and, you know, things we can use. And there's like cars and stuff. They're all old and beat up looking, most of them. Transportation vehicles and things like that. There's some, you know, stalls you can use for like, you know, the merchants and things. It's like we got food stalls and shops like and stuff like that. So definitely more modern stuff. Looks like this could be like an ATM machine and a vending machine, things like that. It's a casino sign. So yeah, if you want a more modern game, you know, for your theme for your game, this is definitely more the uh, tile set you want to use. But then here we have these benches. Now I can see, you know, this blue one being as part of the modern tile, but why this one here isn't as part of the old ones, I'm not sure. But this was the bench tile I was looking for before, which is, you know. Um, but it, apparently it was here in the in the modern modern stuff, so. Um, so I'm just going to put these maybe, let's see, I'll put them one back. I don't like it there quite that much. Um, but I think before I do that, because I'm just going to have to come back and redraw it anyway if I do it right now. Um, I'm going to actually put in some more, maybe like an offshoot here with some of this. Just kind of like we did before on the other map, but a little bit more of a... Actually, we'll make a nice big one here. A little bit more of an area that's sectioned off, and people can be in here and do, you know, whatever they want to do with their relaxation time and all that. Okay, so we've got a nice section in there. And maybe we can even fence it off if we want like hey, here's the you know whatever relaxation area rest area whatever you want to call it uh, let me just use the flood fill really quick to see what the other fences look like that one looks okay maybe that one might even be the best looking one uh, this one's a snow one I think yeah that doesn't quite work so well, but um, I was just thinking, like, oh, yeah, maybe we don't even need it again. We, maybe we can just, you know, do something else with it. See what else we can think of, because it looks okay, but it's still not quite the look that I'm going for with this stuff, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, but that's okay. You know, trial and error, we can experiment with things and see what works and see what doesn't. Um, and, of course, you can always choose differently than I do for your own game, for things that you enjoy. So I think I'm going to use, like, maybe... Maybe we can add this little nice fountain over here. We can kind of throw that. Whoops, <laughs> not with the flood fill tool. Switch tools first. There we go. So maybe we can have a nice little fountain area there. And we can put some benches. Actually, that's a little too close. What does it look like if I put it here? Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's pretty okay. Um, maybe another one here. Yeah, maybe we've got another fountain, actually. Well, no, you probably wouldn't have two fountains. It doesn't make too much sense. Uh, maybe the fountain could be more in the middle, though, like right about there. I think that seems a little more reasonable. Now, let's see where the sea tile transparency one is. Uh, it's got to be somewhere in here. At least I hope it's somewhere in here. Oh, did I not have a sea tile one? Maybe we can use the B tile one to erase that. Oh, yeah, okay, so the B tile one also works for C. That's good to know forgot that little detail and so here are the benches I was looking for before and that's good that they we found them here so I'm just gonna put a couple of extra benches I don't think I'm actually gonna fill them all but um you know there's some nice stuff going on there and I think I'm actually gonna use what we did before with the uh, little grass areas here maybe and we can fill them in like I guess one is good because the trees here are smaller. We don't have the big trees, I don't think, in this uh, tile set. No, we don't. We just have the small ones. We can use these guys. That'll work okay. Or, you know, we could even use these ones to really suggest they were put there. And I guess if you were using those ones, you don't really even have to use the uh, grass tiles there if you don't want. Because 
they already have their own box. I think, yeah, I think I am going to do it like that because that looks a little bit nicer and we get to use the different trees that we don't see on any of the other tile sets. So just something like this where it's, you know, suggests a little area where people can come and maybe rest and you could do, of course, some extra light posts and things over here. Maybe one here. Here to kind of light up the way as people are going. You know, um, we don't, or we're not going to have this thing be at nighttime, so we don't really have to worry about actually lighting the area, but um, there are ways you could do that if you, you know, if you've got that sort of thing going on. Um, mostly what you're going to want to do with that is uh, there's plugins and things you can use to make it look especially nice, but, you um, So, yeah, I think this looks pretty good. This is kind of what I was going for with the uh, look of things.